back to our, our channel. channel. Today we're trying a Turkish box. Is yeah. that what it is? It's Turkish. It looks so cute. Yeah. They give you this little chart that comes with it. My face is on it. And then mm -hmm. um, it tells you, like, I think more about each one. Thankfully, it's mm -hmm. in English. Well, maybe, like, if we just pick them and we can we'll refer to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm really nervous about this. We should probably get it over with. Corn chips, sweet chili corn chips. You yeah. don't even like Fritos. That's basically what that is. Oh. Yeah. That's... You're trying this too, right? Yeah, we're trying all of them. <laughs> oh no. No. My smell alone. They're like paper thin. I don't even want that. Do we have something to spit something in? The paper towels right there. Mm -mm. They weren't bad at the beginning and then the aftertaste was not good. Oh, well, here. Drop it in. Ugh. Trash no. pile. It basically tastes like a barbecue chip, but not good flavor. I love yeah. barbecue chips. That was not good. Mm. You pick. Mm. I choose these. They kind of look like goldfish, maybe, but plain. They're called Balak or Balak crackers. Let me see what it says about them. Either plain or corn flavored, these fish shaped fun crackers. You will never be good at fishing. Do not catch too many at once. We sometimes include its corn flavored version. Oh God. So like randomly you could get the corn flavored one in these packs instead of just the plain ones. They smell like plain goldfish. Mm. These remind me of something that's here like in America. Like not graham crackers, but something close. They taste like uh, Ritz crackers if they were shaped like goldfish without the salt. Yeah. And look how detailed this fish is. Mm -hmm. That is so detailed. Those are really good. I like those a mm -hmm. lot. It's my turn to pick. Alright. Sin. <laughs> oh gosh. Sin. That's on the sheet. Sin. This one says the classic one. Sin means genie in English? Mm -hmm. Many Turkish people have superstition that the world sin calls for bad souls and they never use the word sin in their daily lives. Like you know who in Harry Potter series. Turkish people call sin as a three-letter entity. Hmm. Replacement for C-I-N, which accounts for three letters in total. Ta-da. Is it a bad snack because it's sin? It's supposed to be sinfully good. That's probably why. <laughs> okay. Mmm, <laughs> it has like a jelly. Like oh, a, no. like a marmalade. Oh. It's like a lemony, like a lemon jelly and then like chocolate sprinkles. I don't, I don't know if it's chocolate, it's just brown sprinkles. It's very, it's almost orangey though. It's like a, I don't know, meringue. Good job. This big box was calling my name. Biscolata. Biscolata. Mood. <laughs> That's what it says. Here it is. <laughs> Let me read that one. Okay. Chocolate bombs with fortune telling capabilities. Each one has a small picture on it with an explanatory list for each symbol printed on the back of the package. It comes with 30 different fortunes. Hmm. That's, That's cool. It tells you on the back. Yeah, there's like a key on the back here. And it tells you. So it's like a, getting a fortune cookie. So we have to not look at it and then oh. pick one. Oh, I got a present. So what does that mean? That means... Where's the present? Oh, well, I can't read it because it's in a different language. <laughs> yeah. I got a star. Those are good. Mm -hmm. I like those a lot. Mm -hmm. No, those are really good. Those taste like those chocolate pandas, kind of. Mm -hmm. 
I'm trying to think of what they were called. I have like chocolate in my mouth. I don't want to just like jump ship to something else, but <laughs> this does not look good. What is it? Crispy. Oh, Turkatilly. Okay. It's on this right Crispy there. Crispy Turkatilly. Okay. Don't even know how to say. This savory is a new invitation. It is somewhere in between a savory cracker and chips. You decide which snack category best decide, best flavor describes these crackers. <laughs> I'm guessing taco because it says something taco. Taco? Mm-hmm. What? They smell a little better than the last ones. It looks like a... Oh my god, they smell like tacos. tacos. I don't know. Not cheese it, but. <laughs> that tastes like beef. <laughs> and a cracker. What is that? What is that called? Oh, oh a cocoa Osmo spread. Osmo tube. It's a cocoa spread with hazelnut. So here. it's going to be like. um. Read it. Osmo tube. It's going to be like that one thing that we have here. Osmo is like a. Is a Simpson. A Simpson alike character in Turkey. And this is its most unstable form, the liquid chocolate. Turkish folks squeeze the tube on a piece of bread or pretzel and into their mouths. Or just squeeze it and eat it. You could do it on these. These were pretty plain. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be like Nutella. Hmm. Cause it's a chocolate hazelnut spread. It's thick. <laughs> it looks like my fish pooped. <laughs> I couldn't really taste it. Yeah. <laughs> you made a mess. Mm. It is a lot like Nutella. I think it's better though. It's more chocolatey. It has I less think the of hazelnut is what I'm not liking. I want to say it has less of a hazelnut taste. I want to try these. What is that? These are called crispies, just like those chips, but they're like sticks. Crispy turkatilly? No, that was the bag of chips. Hot, cheesy, and herby. Ketchup and mayo flavor? Oh no. This or Oh wait, I think we got the cheese one. I think there's like ketchup and mayo flavored ones, but it's not. Oh yeah, cheese. hot, cheesy, herby, ketchup, and mayo flavored. So we got yeah. the cheesy. The herby one is Fine by me. with 10 different herbs. As the name suggests, the snack claims to be crispy. If you're not feeling like you can handle more sweet snacks in the box, this will help you balance the taste and regain your strength to destroy more sweets in the box. Oh yeah. These look just like Pringles sticks. And I love Pringles sticks, so I hope these are good. Oh. It tastes like um sour cream and onion chips. Which is kinda like so so with me. I mean they're not bad. I think they're good. I I just think it's I don't care for it. It is a good flavor. I think it's too much of a blast yeah i made the tea this is what it was right there it almost looks like hot chocolate it tastes like i'm drinking rice with with like sugar on it like white rice with sugar like sweet rice no here you go you sure i don't just say these are called XEUs. <laughs> if we translate its name, we have spoiled the surprise. Just go ahead and try one. Public service announcement. Surprise, a surprise waits for you for the next 10 seconds as soon as you start chewing it. Oh, they're oh. chewy. Oh my God. That's really sour. Mm -hmm. That's more sour than Warhead. Bite into it. It'll make it sweeter. 
Whoa. It's like gum. Mm-hmm. So when you first put it in your mouth, it's really, really, really sour. Mm -hmm. And then you bite into it and it makes it sweet. What flavor was yours? Mine was blackberry. Mine's pink. I don't know. How do you know what flavor? It said down here. Cola. What? Yeah. I should have taken that one. You want some ABC cola? No. <laughs> Greta. Greta. It is... Greta is the representative of the Turkish snacking world. It represents a tradition spanning way back to Greek police cities, which is now a Turkish soil. A tradition that can be summed up with few words, olive-based biscuits coupled with unique, again, seeds and herbs. So like basil. I'm looking so much forward to this cracker. I actually am, I feel like Oh, it actually smells good. It smells like garlic toast. Smell it. Yeah, it does. Look, it splits into two. You want to just do one? Yeah. Looks mm -hmm. like a saltine with yeah, some with stuff like on herbs. it. Like once you broke it in half, it'd be a saltine cracker. Well, thanks for the bigger half. Mmm. <laughs> that tastes like garlic toast in a cracker. That's really good. I thought I wasn't going to like this, but I really like this. Thank you for the bigger half. Now. Mm-hmm. Mm. Those taste like... There's this place in America, which is where we are. Um, the macaroni grill, I think is what it's called. I think that's what it was. And they had like this olive oil and herb based like little cup. And they, you can slice your bread and dip your bread in that. Mm. And that's literally what it tastes like because the crust of their bread like has that flavor of that mm. cracker. Oh, that was so good. Those are really mm. good. Those will be eaten for sure. Let's go down the savory path. These look like they might be onion ring chips or oh, something. Oh, no. I don't know for sure. They're called Simic crackers. That's what it looks like it says. Ooh. They smell like peanut butter. What? They look like little pretzels with oh, something on them. Oh, they look like them. sesame seeds. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, it's peanut butter. It's like a peanut butter pretzel. Mm-hmm. Except it's not like the actual peanut butter in it. There's yeah. like one thing. It's almost like a bagel chip with like very light peanut butter taste in the sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. The potty cake. <laughs> or poti. I don't know how they say it. Potty cakes. Either carrot, coconut, fruit, or chocolate flavor. <laughs> These cakes are a great idea. If you love puffy stuff. Oh, I think we got fruit because there's pictures of fruit. Potty has bottom. no meaning in Turkish, but some Turkish people call it as best package cake ever. Hope you agree with them. Oh, that's very fruity. Oh, that's like a little pound cake. <laughs> that's cute. It's a cutie cake. It's <laughs> a cutie cake. <laughs> oh, there's like fruit mm -hmm. in there. Mm hmm it tastes like lemon bread. I'm gonna break it open so you can see the fruits like in the center. Mm -hmm. You can see some on the sides too. It looks like there might be orange, lemon, grapes, and I'm not sure what that one is. Mmm, grapefruit? No, pomegranate. Like Maybe a pomegranate, yeah. It's just like Head. a little fruit cake. Yeah. That is really good. So, like the pie. Why can't we have snacks like that here? I mean, we have the fruit cakes that they make around the holidays. Yeah. That's like a little sponge cake. That's what I was trying to think of. What? <laughs> oh, no. Let's have a nut party. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I don't like gosh. nuts. Cheddar and Sogan. What is that? But it looks like an onion. All right. Nuts, popped kernels, and ball-shaped chips. All covered with herb mix, either cheddar, onion flavored, or burning hot. So we got the cheddar onion. It also has a honey and mustard flavor, which is a new mix that many Turkish snack lovers love. I'm not going to love this. That's a nut and that's a chip. I have to do it together? No, you don't have to do it together. I did the chip. That's this. not bad, but I don't think that the nut's going to taste very good with that on there. Mm-mm. Oh, that chip. 
That's gross. That is, that is not food. That is not a snack. Actually, the nut is better. Well, it better be because that was the most disgusting thing ever. Was that a nut? I think so. I mean, it's all right. It's better on the nut, surprisingly, than it is the chips. Maybe I could see it together, but that chip tasted like soy sauce. What did you get there? Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> Alpella. Harvey, that's what it says. One of the oldest standing snacks in the market. Harvey is a light chocolate for a casual snacking. Snacking suggestions. Some like it alone, some like it dipped into their cup of tea, which I have. <laughs> now I lost my place. Be creative, have your own way of having this classic snack. I'm not looking forward to this because it says Carm Melly, which I Ooh, think is caramel. It has caramel. I don't like caramel. Whoa. Did you even get any caramel? <laughs> no, and I did that so purposely. So it has like a wafer side and chocolate in the middle with caramel, I guess, in there. Without the caramel, Let's it tastes it. like a s'more. So it'll be like a caramel s'more for you. It's really good. It actually was good dipped in this because of the cracker. It like softened it up. I want to do this one next. It kind of looks like a high chew to me. Mm. It's called a crew mini mini. Crew mini mini. Mm -hmm. mm. It smells like something very specific. If you've ever had a gogurt, that's strawberry Wait, what flavor. Is it a car mini mini. Turkey is the land of carpoos, which means watermelon. I want to smell it. <laughs> yes. The standard for carpoos is that it has to weigh above 50 pounds. Some watermelons even weigh above 100 pounds. It is easy enough to feed 100 people at once. Wow. Off of that one watermelon. So this is watermelon in it? Mm-hmm. Then why does it smell like strawberry? This little piece of candy is far from a whole watermelon, but it becomes, but it comes with the same goodness in it. It's very similar to high chews, except this one has better watermelon flavor than high chew does. Mm -hmm. It tastes it more really realistic. A mix of strawberry and watermelon to me. I think it's like the creamy texture. Mm -hmm. Turkish delight. That makes me think of Narnia. I want some more Turkish delights, please. And she's like, no, you can't have any more. That's what they say <laughs> in the movie, the yeah. Turkish delights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe they're good. Turkish delight or lokum is a family of confections based on gel of starch and sugar. The confection is often packaged and eaten in small cu cubes dusted with icing, sugar, and coconut dust. See, that's what the Turkish delight is in the movie. Ugh, I hate coconut. To prevent clinging. The original confection is not precisely known, but the candy is known to have been produced in Turkey as early as late 1700s. It pairs well with Turkish coffee, we sometimes put a biscuit sandwich delight, which is another way of having it. So it's not like the real Turkish delight. Great. So but excited for something I'm not going to like. I hate coconut. I hate it. It looks super cute. Oh, you won't even want to smell this. <laughs> it says something on it. Petite. Bayetti or something. I don't know. It says something in the cracker. Petite Bayetti. <laughs> oh, it's like chewy. Whoa. It's chewy like a marshmallow. Mm. It's all right. <laughs> Go see. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it could be more flavorful. It's basically like a graham cracker with a plain graham cracker, though. Marshmallow and, I guess, coconut. I'm glad that it didn't have much of a coconut flavor. Yeah, it wasn't very strong. I'm going for this one. It looks oh, like man. a lava cake. Ooh, actually, I think that's like that. It's got, like, a chocolate goo coming out the middle. I thought it was going to be something I wasn't going to like. Oh, gosh, be careful. Oh, I would just bite it. 
and then get to the middle. Basically just tastes like your chocolate cake. Did you get to it? It's not really like runny, but it's darker. Mm -hmm. I would eat it. I don't know. I think it's too like grainy and like I taste more of like bread. Like when I eat, it's like banana bread texture without the banana flavor with chocolate in it. I don't know. I, know. I liked it. Tastes it was, like a chocolate I mean, cake. It was all right, but I don't know. Something was off. What is this? Caramel. Today. Caramel waffle. <laughs> Kelsey hates caramel. A world renowned caramel waffles are mostly attributed to Belgium and Holland. While Turkish people generally, generally feel at liberty to claim their own version when it comes to snacks and waffles are no exception. Some pro waffle locals go as far as to claim waffle as a Turkish delicacy after tasting this one. If you do care about the taste over the first inventor, here is your chance. He didn't even bite that. These are, wow. It really smells like caramel. I know. And it tastes like it too. It's like taking a breakfast waffle, smashing it as thin as you can and putting a layer of caramel in between and sticking it together and freezing it. That's what they it's did. It's very thin. Surprisingly, I don't know if I like it. Really? I think it's the breading. Whatever cookie or breading they use for the wafer throws it off. Kind of tastes like earwax, <laughs> like caramel flavored earwax. All caramel tastes like that to me. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Cat, cat, cat. Mm. Sounds so like cat. Cat heart attack. <laughs> cat heart attack. <laughs> cat, cat, cat. Cat, 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 cat. I see. Here it is. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. Croissantish bakery in, in Turkish style, style filled with goodness inside. This one comes with different shapes and sizes. It has different flavors other than chocolate. These are strawberry and sesame seed flavor. You can call it deliciousness in every level as we call it Turkish. Cat, cat, tat. Some find it tasty, some find it stale. A controversial yet success proven snack with a long lasting record of being around for decades in Turkey. Whoa, what did you do? That's not what you're supposed to do. It fell apart like this. So this is it. <laughs> it's like a, a breaded, it reminds me of the McDonald's. What pies. Are <laughs> That's what I was going to say. The, the McDonald's pie. pie, except it's falling apart in the front. What kind was it? I don't know. It's chocolate. Why'd they tell us it wasn't chocolate? They said it could be strawberry chocolate or sesame seed. Oh, I thought they said every flavor but chocolate. Hmm. It's good. You want to try it now? No. It does <laughs> kind of remind me of a stale McDonald's pie, but in the best way. Super roll hazelnut. Super roll. Here it is. You want to hear it up there? Sure. Super roll crepe. That's what it says. A classic wafer roll. They love wafers in Turkey. I love wafers, so it's fine. It's the favorite of Turkish people. We love dipping this little piece of goodness in a cup of tea. They also love their tea. Beware if you hold it too much into a cup of hot tea. It breaks from the middle. Be gentle and give it only a few seconds to reach the perfect texture. If a cup of hot tea is not around, it's just as good without. I bet that these are going to be a lot like those things that you get in those cans, Faith. Ooh. With like the hazelnut chocolate center. Yeah, I always put them in my coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do look like those. It tastes like that wrapped in cardboard. <laughs> I didn't know that was Turkish. That's really cool. Yeah, these are good. I knew you would like those. 
I think they're okay. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't eat them on a normal basis, but they're all right. Faith likes them. Yeah. Yes, this is what I wanted. I was hoping Faith wouldn't pick this one. It looks oh like gosh. chocolate wafers. Wafers, once again. Mm -hmm. Love your wafers. Wafers are okay. Yeah. So is turkey the reason America has wafers then? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, I like wafers like that. Mm -hmm. Those are like mini. Yeah. Aren't they cute? <laughs> that actually looks more like cardboard. Mm -hmm. Styrofoam. Kind of tastes like styrofoam on top. Mm -hmm. Over chocolate. I should look at this thing that's on the front. It tells us the calories and the sugar. But I feel like here in America, our wafers are much sweeter. Mm -hmm. These are pretty sweet, but like the wafer itself is pretty plain. They're 210 calories for that package. So oh they might gosh. be about the same. Hmm. Double up big cake. Seemed like I guys wanted to draw the last. Double up big cake. I feel like I'm so full. Hey, don't be cheating. Like a mess. That one is worse than the other chocolate cake. Well, maybe that means I'll like it. Okay. <laughs> it looks like somebody took their shoe and stepped in a mud puddle and then ripped it up. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. And that's what it tastes like, apparently. Tastes like plastic. Mm -hmm. Very similar to that other one. I don't know. The other one was better. It's the cakes for me. There's a weird flavor. It just has an interesting taste. But it's good. I what? love the packaging of things, too. I think that's so cool. What was your favorite? Um, That's hard. I think I know mine, if you want me to go first. Yeah, I don't know. I think mine was definitely these. Those were really good. These were really good. I wish I could get these here. I'm going to look them up online and see if I can find them. This gum might have been my favorite. Even though it started sour. Mm -hmm. I also like these. The little goldfish guys. Mm -hmm. Those were really good. Um, I liked the savories in this one, I think. These ones. Oh, we found out what our things meant. We forgot to say. I forgot. Oh, I ha I got this star and I looked it up and it says, like, go gaze at the stars or something. Mine said something about um, rewarding small achievements. Yeah, and you got the crown, so that makes sense. We'll have to, like, I don't know, like, look them up as we get them or just look up the meanings in the back of the box. That's really cool. I don't know what my favorite was. I think by far mine was these... Greta crackers. That might be too. I loved those. And these, these were, were really good. good too. The little goldfish guys. I liked those. I think when it comes to not sweet, this was my favorite. What was your favorite sweet one? Mm, that's what I'm trying to figure out. This was pretty good. Yeah. This cake, this fruit cake. The fruit cake was pretty good. I like. I also liked this. I liked those little wafer guys. Mm -hmm. The mini wafers. Yeah. These? Yeah, these were pretty good too. And I liked that one round chocolate cake Faith didn't really like. Um, it was like lemon and like chocolate sprinkles. Oh, I the ate the sprinkles whole thing. one. I yeah, one I didn't even good. like that one. So glad you ate that one. And this was actually really good too. This was probably up there too, that chocolate and caramel. I don't know. I liked most of the stuff. There was literally only like two or three things we didn't like. Yeah, the things we didn't like were the taco flavored chips. Those were no go. They tasted more like beef than anything else. They did. These chili corn chips were just a little too like spicy for us, I guess. I mean, they weren't really, really spicy, but we just didn't like the flavor of them. And these nuts were like, okay. I don't think I'd ever eat them again. Oh no. But mm -hmm. they hated them. So. Yeah, I hate all that. And thanks to Tara for sending out the box yet yeah, again. thank you. So, I loved it. Oh, I'm happy that we'll have some snacks to eat. Yeah. All the way from Turkey. Yeah, that's really cool. I think I'm going to investigate some more Turkish snacks because I'm kind of intrigued now. I'm literally going to look up those Greta things and see if I can find them anywhere. They were Ship that them good. from Amazon. I'm sure yeah. they're good. I'm about to. <laughs>
-hmm. Or even look and see if World Market has some. Right, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna look them up online. They were Are really, they? really good. I also really liked this and that it told us like what things were yeah. and like some facts. I think that's super cool mm -hmm. that it comes with that. And it comes with the, all the nutrition facts that are in front of us on the table, like how many calories and sugar and carbs and all that. So yeah. I think that's awesome too. Thanks for watching today's video. See, See you guys, guys next time. time. Bye. Bye.